Hello YouTube, it's Farmer Son Prepping. Down here at the lake today, see if I can show you. Sorry y'all, had to adjust my tripod there. Uh, so, today is Saturday, I think it's uh, June 11th or 12th, whatever it is, it's that Saturday. Uh, we're down here at the lake, me and the boys down here. Uh, try to get it where you can see them there. There they are. So they're fixing to enjoy some swimming time that they don't normally get. I'm just going to leave the camera over here on the dogs. Well, I talk to you all about prepper burnout. Okay, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it, son. All right. So, yeah. Prepper burnout. It's a real thing. Uh... I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. Hope y'all can hear me okay. I'm trying to get close to the camera. Thanks for the shower, Rocky. Uh, you know, I'd be lying if I said there was days where, uh, if I said there weren't days where I just didn't want to just go back to bed and, you know, not think about it for a while. Uh, you know, the news with every coming day is just worse and worsening. Uh, hang on, I got some company. Let me pause, y'all. All right, I uh, think we're back. Uh, somebody asked me to borrow something that I didn't have. Uh, so yeah, prepper burning. Okay, all right, I'm getting wet. Pepper burnout is a real thing, like I was saying before the interruption. There are days when I just wish I could just go back to bed and try to forget about the news of every coming day. And, uh, but you know, we have to just make sure we don't burn ourselves out. We have to make sure that we're taking some time every now and then and uh, spending time with family or uh, coming down here to the lake, doing a little fishing, you know. Oh, I got a, I got a lure hanging on my hat. I forgot about that. Uh, I know, yeah. I'm not a very good video maker. Uh, but yeah, it's important to spend time with your pets, to spend time with your family, that type of thing. Take a break from it all is what I'm trying to say. It's good to go take a break from it all. The dogs are having a blast, by the way. Uh, I did bring my little Glock 42. It's in my pocket right here. You just don't come down here to this lake without bringing something because uh, you will see a cotton mouth from time to time. Dogs are having a blast. I did bring my uh, fishing rod. I brought two fishing rods. So, uh, be doing some fishing here. I'm letting the dogs have their fun first because they run everything off once they start jumping in the water. So, when I get done throwing for them, I'll walk down here to somewhere else and start fishing a little bit. That'll probably be off camera, y'all. But, uh, it's important to, to take time away. I've made videos on this before, but, uh, I know I've got new subscribers now. And so, I'm trying to keep everything fresh on everybody's mind. You know, tune the news out. T take some time. Tune tune the world out. That's sometimes that's what you have to do is just tune the world out. You know, go do go do something. You know that you love to do. I love to come down here and fish. I love to come down here and uh, let the dog swim. It's good exercise for them. Uh, well, bring me your toy, son. I'll throw it again. Go get it. Try not to step on my rods while you're doing it, okay? Here. Loose. So, uh, anyhow, 
Saturday. Uh, oh, by the way, something that's been in my garden, my little mini garden, uh, something's already taken out one of my little bitty okra plants that I had in there. So I think it's deer probably, so I'm going to have to work on getting a fence around that or making some sort of barrier around my little garden. Thought I'd give you all a little update on that. Yeah, one of my little okra plants is gone. And I can tell where somebody's been in there like scraping around, digging around. So probably a deer would be my best guess. If it was deer season, I, I'd have a way to rack, uh, I'd have a way to deal with that. Struggle for my words, y'all know I always do. So, make sure you take some time. Don't get don't get yourself burned out. Start tuning the world out for a day or two, even five, if that's what it takes for you to relax a little bit. It's not good for the body to be stressed all the time. Uh, I know it's not good for me. I'll try to go to bed and you can't turn your brain off. It just wants to go and go and go and all this stuff to think about. How everything's going up and eventually there's going to come a day where I, when I run out of money, I just ain't going to have enough. Uh, that's on everybody's mind right now. Uh, including mine. But... I rely heavily on my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and you know the things that I already have prepped uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to start breaking into them soon the day may be sooner than we think that we may have to start breaking into some of this stuff that we've been putting away so it's good that we have it though it really is boy the bugs are getting bad down here probably this white t-shirt I probably shouldn't have wore this white t-shirt, but it's hot. It's hot today. 95 in Alabama today. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we came down here to the lake. I figured I'd sit, sit around and do a little fishing. Uh, just, you know, reflect a little bit on what's going on in my world and uh, what's, what's about to be going on. Uh, our church is fixing to have its... Uh, vacation Bible school and uh, that's all hands on deck at church uh, we have kids from uh, I think it's first grade all the way up to uh, I think it's first grade all the way up to sixth we don't usually do like high school classes because we just don't have enough kids and the high school kids just help us with the younger ones so that's good service you know for them they learn how to serve somebody beside yourself. You know, that might not be a terrible thing nowadays. Boy, I can get going on that. But anyhow, things are fixed to get busy with that. Uh, that'd be the week of the 20th, I think. So the 20th through the 24th. But yeah, make sure you take some time. Uh, turn the YouTube off. I know I'm on YouTube telling you to turn it off, but if that's what you gotta do, you that's what you gotta do. Turn off the news, find you a peaceful place to go, somewhere private, somewhere where you can just, you know, go talk to the Lord if, if you want to. Uh, take your pets to a dog park, something, you know. I know you city dwellers, there's things for you to do as well, parks, they have parks and stuff. That's what's on my heart today. I hope y'all have a blessed day uh, Saturday today. I'm looking forward to a blessed Lord's Day in the morning, uh, if the Lord's willing. Uh, so, take whatever time you need. Get yourself some, some time off. It's good. It's good for you. Yeah, you're going to feel like things are piling up while you're taking your time off. That's okay. You, you know, once you get through your little burnout series or whatever, you know, session, you'll, you'll feel like going back to work. Uh, you'll feel like getting back on your top of your preps or whatever it is you're doing, working every day. So God bless you all is my prayer from the boys and I at the lake down here on our property with the bugs buzzing. 
God bless you all. Remember Romans 12, 21, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not render evil for evil. Sometimes it's good to take the high road. Uh, be kind to someone today. Be a blessing to someone today. Uh, if you can, you know. Not everybody's in that position. I get that. Uh, do the things. Pray, prep. Uh, plan. I said that backwards. Pray, plan, and prep. Execute. After you get done with your little burnout session, take you some time off. Then you can get back to doing the things. Excuse me, y'all. My nose is running. Uh, y'all have a blessed one. This is Farmer Sun Prepping. Remember, take some time off. Tune the world out. Go enjoy nature for a couple of hours, whatever it takes. We'll catch y'all later.